Hello everyone, this is Light of Wonder 753. I want to do this video, you know, before summer in a you know, before summer officially starts for me, which is about another week and a half maybe till summer starts for me. But I just want to make I just want to make this video real quick to describe how Um, how as, you know, as a Christian music collector, how do I know what CDs I want to add to my collection? Well, for instance, I know, um, I know what type of music I like, and then I discover new music that I like, too. So, I basically just make a list, like, of upcoming um, CDs, you know, that I want to go in my collection. Um, some for complete, some like are, like some I want like complete, like uh, complete collections, I guess you would say, such as uh, Mercy Me. I want to try to, you know, get that collection more complete with um, some of their older CDs I do not have. But for me especially, I know there's no way, you know, I possibly can get, like, every single Christian CD out there. So, what I do is I collect, and um, I made a time period for myself that I collect my music from. So, I collect from 2006 up to present day. Anything before 2006, I do not collect. Um... Which means for my complete collections, like if I wanted um, a couple complete collections for different music artists, I would base that complete collection up to um, like all the music they've had from 2006 into the present day. That would be like a complete collection um, in my mind because... There's just, you know, so much music out there, um, and much of what I like, you know, is stuff from, like, 2006 and later on, you know, um, so, yeah, that's, that's the time frame I stick in. Now, let's see, there's also maybe some research, you know, um, as to my hobby, you know, on how I know what CDs I want. Um, but I usually don't research anymore. Usually what I do is research one time. Like I find maybe a day I'm... Don't have much work to do. And, um, and then, you know, I compile, like, a list from each year, and then only stick with those CDs that I feel I would, I need to add in my collection, you know, um, I try to add, you know, my personal taste of what I like, because I'm not going to personally get, um, I'm not personally going to get any, uh, music unless I absolutely like it. Because if I listen to, like, a preview of some songs on an album, and I don't really think I would like the whole album, but only select songs out of the album, then I'd only buy singles from that album. However, if... Like, if I like, like, every single song out of an album, and I know, um, you know, that I would like to try out that album, even if I may not like the album after I buy it, even if I may not like the album after that. Like, I just see, you know, what I'm interested in. And if I don't particularly like it after I listen to it, I still listen to it. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm not going to... Like, I know s some music I have I like more, I know, than other types of music I have. But, you know, I'll still listen to it consistently, and... If someday I stop, you know, listening to 
maybe an album I particularly bought that uh, through previewing songs I liked but I didn't really like the whole album as a whole you know someday I may um, give one of those albums away you just uh, I just don't know yet but uh that's how I go about you know trying to find new albums and stuff and also I look at the upcoming release dates on particularly everything um, and I choose which ones I think I'll be really excited about and which ones I think I'd be interested in if I don't think I'll be interested in that type of style or um, artist then or if I like the artist but don't like like the current album or something then you know I'll, I'll skip over that one and you know um, look at the others down the road that's just how I go about selecting things case any of you um you know want to have this hobby or if any of you do like christian music and you can't decide between like two or three albums of what christian music you want i say just go with what you know you'll like i say don't buy an album if you know you would not like it if you know by like your conscience that you would not like the album or something and it's really not your style so just for me I don't listen to like Christian punk rock or whatever because like uh, that's not my style so I don't listen to bands like really Stellar Cart or Reliant K or Switchfoot because you know that's like that's not, that's never been really my style of music, so that's, you know, that's why I don't listen to those artists, and there's different reasons, but that's just my advice I can give you on that, and I will see you guys early to middle to maybe late May, I'm not sure when I'll be on next, I'm not sure when I'll be on next, um, hopefully by middle, the middle of May, um, Actually, maybe beginning of May and some to the end of May. I'll definitely be on here, you know, making videos in June. But, um, a little busy with summer things in May. So, just depends, you know, on what goes on this next coming month as to, you know, how many videos I'll have. Of course, I'll be out of college after... Pretty much after the end of next week, you know, I'll officially have my summer start because, you know, I'll be done with my college finals and stuff, so. I don't know after that, though. I don't know, you know, um, when I'll be on here due to, you know, um, if I have to, you know, do some air stuff, you know, outside of, um, you know, this stuff uh, this summer, so. Until, until next time though guys, um, hope you have a good week and you are in college, good luck on your final.